What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John Plays here and right now we're going to be going over everything brand new for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coming out today. <laughs> At 9 p.m. on April 16th, Nintendo released a video talking about version 3.0 for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which when this video go live, it's probably going to be just an hour or so before actually the 17th. And on April 17th, we're getting version 3.0 with a whole bunch of stuff. So much stuff that there was a 15 minute video that I'm now going to explain in a slightly shorter video while giving you some, some helpful information. Oh, and also brand new Amiibos are going to be available. Pichu, Isabel, and Pokemon Trainer are going to be available on July 26th. Boom, we're getting information, we're getting a video inside of a video, great. All right, first of all, the long and short, Super Smash Bros. 3.0 includes Fighter Pass Pack 1 DLC Character 1, which is Joker, we already knew about him, his new stage called Mementos, 11 new songs, a classic mode, Joker Route, and a special version of the Spirit Board known as DLC Spirits. Most likely, if you choose to purchase any of the DLC characters individually, you get access to the DLC Spirits. You aren't required to have Joker, you could just get the other four, etc. It's going to be available April 17th, which is today or tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video, or it was April 17th if you're watching in the future. It's included in the Fighters Pass DLC, so if you have the Season Pass, you're fine, you're automatically going to get this, or it can be purchased separately for $5.99 US dollars. Assuming that this is going to be the same price for all the fighters, you save 5 bucks if you buy the DLC pack now. We still do not know what the other four fighters are going to be, however by February of next year we are going to find out what they are. We're also getting new paid DLC Me Fighter costumes! And they're going to be 75 cents each, a very reasonable price for the costumes. From Persona series, we're getting the Morgana hat. Morgana? Don't know how to say it. The Persona protagonist for Sword Fighter. A Teddy hat, Persona 3 protagonist, Sword Fighter. And from Sonic the Hedgehog, we're getting Tails for a Gunner costume. And Knuckles for a Brawler costume. Also, version 3.0 has brand new content that's going to be free for everyone. So even if you do not have the Fighter Pass DLC, or a credit card, or money in your bank account, you ain't got those Funds, you're still getting a whole bunch of brand new stuff. As was hinted at earlier in the week, last week, whenever it was, we are going to be getting a stage builder, and it's going to be much more robust than it was on the Wii U. In handheld mode, you could touch the screen and draw whatever non-obscene shape that you possibly may want. We're going to be able to get moving platforms as well as spinning platforms. In fact, when you make a platform, you get a little menu that pops up with options, and there's going to be a whole bunch of brand new elements that are going to be exclusive to this mode, including what I can tell is sort of like a warp portal between two places. That's pretty cool. There's also going to be front and back layers, so you're going to be able to decorate the stages. Imagine what people did with wool back in Minecraft. We're going to get something very similar coming like that for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Stage Builder. Any stages that you've created are going to appear under their own tab on the stage select, so it stays separate from everything else. Also, we're getting a video editor. So under replays, there's a video e editor, and it looks fairly robust. Like, this is kind of comparable to iMovie, granted the fonts kind of suck, but whatever. You're going to be able to export this to share online mode. It's not, I don't know right now if you're going to be able to share to social media, to Twitter and Facebook like you can through the default Nintendo Switch app. I really hope you should, but I don't know. No, what you're going to be sharing to what they announced is called shared content. It's a brand new tab. There's so many tabs. With this, you can check out pictures and videos uploaded from the editor, and most importantly, you're going to be able to download user-made stages from other people over the internet. Wow, Nintendo is finally listening, that's how the internet works. When you come across something, you can choose to like their post, you could also choose to follow the person who made this stage, and you can download it to your Nintendo Switch and fight on that stage, which is pretty dang awesome. I don't know if you're going to be able to take that stage and then modify it. Also, we did not get information if there's going to be an option to have stage obstacles and stage hazards removed from stages. I doubt we're going to have Battlefield and Omega options, but 
We'll see. Also, with the Nintendo Switch Online app that you may have uninstalled since Splatoon 2, you're going to be able to access all of the shared content. You're going to be able to discover levels that you like and cue them to download remotely to your Nintendo Switch. So you may be at lunch at school or on the subway and you don't have your Switch with you and more, most importantly, you don't have internet access. You can look through new stages and then cue all the ones that you like. When you get home, you can hit download and they download to your Nintendo Switch. That is amazing. That is a free feature. You're getting that tomorrow slash today slash you already got it. Also with the Nintendo Switch online app, you're going to be able to create a spirit roster or a spirit team setup, whatever you want directly from your phone and it transfers to your Nintendo Switch knowing the spirits that you already have. That's pretty awesome. That is everything that we are going to be getting April 17th, 2019 for Smash Update version 3.0 with and without Fighters Pass Pack 1 DLC 1 Joker. Uh, in addition, for the video, we got to see Joker in action. From here on out, I'm going to be going over Joker's new moves, moveset, what you should know about that. If all you wanted was the basic information, then be sure to leave a like right now. But if not, let's get into it. Before I get into this, I do want to state that I have not played Persona or any Persona game. So if I say any of these names wrong, it's just because it's me learning the new names, it's not me actually knowing what they are. However, from what I've researched in the last 37 minutes since that video came out, here's my knowledge on it. We got to see Joker in action. We got to look at pretty much all of his moves. He has a character charge meter known as a rebellion gauge for arson. Joker's main persona, which makes your attack stronger and enhanced moves of all your special attacks and also a pretty dope counter slash reflect. His stage mementos is really dope looking. It really is. His stage changes colors based on the song that is played and it looks awesome. I like the yellow one. Also, we get to see his victory screen and the color of his victory screen is impacted by the color of the stage mementos, which is really dope. They, they kind of went above and beyond. With that being said, there is going to be 11 new songs from the Persona series, including rearrangements, added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is really nice. We got a look at his final smash called All Out Attack, creative name. It hits whatever enemies are directly in front of him. However, but wait, there's more. You can tilt the control stick back to the direction that you came from for a second chance to hit targets. That's some pretty innovative stuff right there. You are getting your money's worth for the six bucks. In addition to seeing his victory screen, we also got to see his Kirby transformation, so you're probably not going to see a video based on that tomorrow. A deeper look into his attacks. His neutral special is a gun, where he shoots a bullet. Dope. His up special is a grappling hook. It could be used for recovery or to drag enemies closer to you. It could be angled at an angle. It could be angled at an angle. Yeah, it could be angled at an angle as well. His side special, Aya which does small damage, however, continues to do damage for a small period of time. Uh, think of like hitting someone with a flower for a short period, that's how much damage they're going to be getting. Down special is Rebel's Guard, which charges the Rebellion Gauge. Also, while you're charging Rebellion Gauge, unlike Cloud, you're only going to be taking half damage. And unlike anyone who, while you're charging up and taking half damage, you can release it to counter a combo if you're timed well enough. That's, um, that's some MLG stuff right there. When Joker's Rebellion Gauge is full, you get to summon his persona, Arson, until the gauge wears out or until Joker is knocked out. While summoning Joker's persona, Arson, his specials are going to be enhanced. His side B, which was gun, now shoots three times instead of once. That's pretty neat. His up special changes from the grappling hook to what's called Wings of Rebellion. It grants a short invincibility and a very large or very high jump up. This looks pretty incredible for stage recovery from down below. His side special, Arson, is now Aegon. Not, not to be confused with Game of Thrones. Pretty much an enhanced version of that does significantly more damage. And his down special, not being able to charge your rebellion gauge while it's being used by the persona, is now just a counter for both physical and projectiles. And you don't need to choose which it is, it just knows it's just gonna counter everything. That's really dope. 
So there we have it, guys. That is everything you need to know from the presentation that we got for Joker for Smash Update 3.0 Fighter's Pass Pack 1 DLC 1 Joker. His new stage, Mementos, 11 new songs, classic mode for Joker, and a special version of the Spirit Board, as well as a whole bunch of DLC, me fighter outfits and stages and online features. Ugh, this is, this is a beefy update, guys. So... Make sure that your switch is plugged in if you have work or whatever tomorrow and you're not on break. Make sure that it's set for automatic download. That way, when you get home, you can just sit down and enjoy it and play. If not, be sure to queue that up. Make sure no one, no one's calling so that the phone lines are open for your modem. That's an old person joke. All right, guys, I'm wrapping this up. If you learned something new, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.